think with Gareth from the first conversation, you got that sense that he really understood. He was a fan, he was passionate, um, and he understood why Godzilla has endured and why it's such a big global icon. After seeing his film Monsters, which he did on an absolute shoestring budget, most of the effects on his laptop, he chose very interesting ways of shooting and storytelling and angles, and you just thought, you know, if he had a bigger budget and he, and he had a bigger canvas, we really feel like he could, he could do something amazing with this. And, and so that's what got us excited about bringing Gareth on. One of the things that was really important to Gareth and ourselves that despite the fact that you'll have amazing effects and everything will look great uh, and you'll be on the edge of your seat, at the same time that you're able to connect to the people and the human beings that are portrayed in this and the characters and not just, um, you know, counting the minutes until Godzilla shows up again. I, I think it's two things. One is delivering the Godzilla movie that I've wanted to see my entire life. One that is grounded, takes itself very seriously, um, and kind of has the care and feeding behind it of people that love it. Uh, and to tell it in a very grounded way. The second thing is uh, just knowing some of the set pieces, as we uh, affectionately call it G-Day, when, uh, when he comes in and invades, and it, you think you're watching you know, the, the, the boats coming up to Normandy, and you think you're, that's, and all of a sudden you realize that it's Godzilla that's coming ashore. I can't wait to see that. There's a a mystery to it that I think is, is pretty great that we think will we'll draw audiences in at the beginning. Um, things might not be exactly as they seem and our scientific team will have to unravel the mystery of exactly what's going on.